Good morning. You know that guy in Norway with the bow? He was firing arrows at people. This happened the day before yesterday. The police wouldn't say his name. And then they said, oh, yeah, he had some other weapons, but we will not tell you what they were. So, of course, there was something with this story. Then, yesterday, the police in Norway came out and told the truth, I suppose. Yeah. This guy was a Muslim convert. Right. And they were worried about this guy. He said he might have been radicalized. And now you know, don't you? Yeah. Apparently, this is what happened. This is how I understand it. He was firing arrows at people in Norway. And then the police came and he fired arrows at them as well. And then he sort of managed to escape. And then he killed these people. He killed five, injured two. So, why didn't you tell people what these weapons were? Were they machetes? You know? Why didn't you, t why didn't you tell police in Norway? You still haven't told the story. Not that I know of. You know, I think that's when he was using the other weapons. Because it's quite hard to kill anyone with uh, an arrow. Yeah. Right. Now we have a problem here in Sweden. National TV News, TV4, they did a story about side effects the other day. And I was thinking, maybe we can ask YouTube. So please, YouTube, could you please help us here in Sweden and talk to TV4, just call them and tell them what not to do. We shouldn't have any stories about side effects anywhere, you see. And you guys at YouTube, you know how to do this. Just block all these stories, you see. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they interviewed this guy, Adam. He got the vaccine and then he got a heart inflammation. He said, I just had bad luck, he said. He seemed happy. Right? Now, anyway, he was asking for money, for compensation from the government. And this is the story, actually. Uh, TV4, they say, so far... 577 Swedish citizens asked for compensation because of side effects. You shouldn't be telling people this. Look at the YouTube. They know how to do this. Anyway, that's what the TV4 did. 577 asked for compensation. Eight of them got it. So it's very hard to get the money. See? All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, now to the list. I almost forgot. Yeah, this is the great list. These are people that you should never look at, never listen to. YouTube is more or less blocking all of them. They are doing a fantastic job. And, uh, you know, these are experts, doctors, more specialists. And they talk about the vaccine. And they are all very, very dangerous. We shouldn't have any of this. This is why I'm doing the list, you see. Never look them up. Never listen to them. Here's a Swedish guy. All right. And the last, this is the Irish lady. And the, the last name is this guy. Okay, he wrote two books about the vaccine. That's strange, isn't it? How can you write two books if you're being critical to the vaccine? Is that even possible? Right. Oh yeah, and I also got questions about the painting behind me. I made the painting. I'm a painter. I've been painting for 35 years. I also make huge paintings, but they will not fit in that space, of course. So I will be showing my paintings in that space. That's right. I wish you a great weekend. Bye.